How's it going guys? Today we're gonna to be doing the Instacart Costco drop without Diamond Cart. You heard me right, not with Diamond Cart, but without it. We are currently only Gold Cart status. So we'll be seeing if the Costco drop's even worth it if you're not Diamond Cart because Diamond Cart people have priority access to those early batches. I have a feeling after the drop, things should get a little bit more normal and hopefully be fine for me. We're also gonna be talking about a new smart mileage tracker so stay tuned for that. That's what I'm gonna be using for 2023, and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. So anyways, we're gonna wait for the Costco drop. We're pretty early, as you guys can see, and I'll show you what the Costco drop looks like from my perspective, hopefully. As long as I see orders, I'll show them to you so you guys can know what to expect. All right, it's 9.58, not seeing a drop quite yet. All right, 10 a.m., nothing still, 10.02 and 10.03. That's usually when the drop is basically done and they'll just kind of trickle out random orders throughout the rest of the day. But yeah, there you guys have it. Gold cart status, Costco drop. That's what it looks like. All right guys, so I just saw a $37 order. No hesitation, immediately hit accept and it was uh, taken by a different shopper. I don't miss that feeling. All right, so you've seen me talk about this app before. It is called Solo, but they recently just launched a really new cool smart mileage tracker that is basically hands off. All right, so it's really simple. After you guys create your account, you guys could use that with my link down below and you guys can make $10 from doing this as well. But just link one active gig account like Instacart, DoorDash, and then as soon as you guys do that, this app will automatically be able to track your trips. So it's really hands off. You guys don't have to go through there and turn it on and off whenever you guys are doing personal driving versus work driving. It does that automatically, which is the coolest feature. So we will be using this today. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a little recap on my mileage and you guys will see exactly what trips were the most miles. All right, so a couple of things to note when you guys are using this, you guys need to wait at least 15 minutes for that trip to come in so that you guys could go take a look at it. You guys also need to keep this app on in the background, so don't swipe out of it. Keep it on while you guys are doing your gig work. And also make sure that you guys set the location to always allow. And once you guys do all that, it should be very straightforward. You guys really shouldn't have to mess with the app all that much while you guys are tracking your miles. And it also shows you how much money you should be getting back from the tax write-off. And speaking of taxes, they made it really easy this year. You guys can actually file all your taxes through the app. They partnered with tax experts, so you guys could check that out on the app. So anyways, make sure you guys check this app out. It is in the description and in the comment section down below. If you guys link one gig account and a payment method, you guys will get $10 for free from Solo. So anyways, let's get back into this ride along. All right guys, so it is now 1018. I was about to go leave and go to a different store, but uh, I ended up getting a $27 order. Somehow I got it, so I will take that. I'm gonna go shop it, it's 13 miles. Looks like we got 16 items and 20 units and a lot of water, five waters in total, but that's not a big deal. I'm just happy I got something because when you're gold cart, you really gotta fight for just the mediocre orders. So let's go ahead and shop this. I'll see you guys with a cart or two full of stuff. been making fun of me for getting rid of the seat but look at that it's nice talk to my buddy that uh still works here like full time almost with instacart apparently it's been really rough lately i'm pretty sure he even has diamond cart there's just like five new full-time shoppers here apparently which sucks for the people like us who have been here for so long and it's basically making it impossible for us to make a full-time living out here now. But I also fully understand that I'm part of that problem because I am here promoting the app in some sort of sense all the time with my channel. So our first drop off is six minutes away. The second one's quite a bit farther. It's probably gonna be a 20 minute drive. But uh, as always, whenever I finish my first order, I'm really shopping it, energy drink time. We got a Prime today or Prime. You can make fun of the product as much as you want but uh, it's actually really good stuff. All 
Alright, so I'm figuring out the reason I may have gotten this order is because this is a repeat customer. It's kind of what happens. Instacart really seems to be pushing repeats right now. So if you guys have an area that you used to shop at a lot, it's alright. But if you guys are new to the area, it's bad. Especially if you're not Diamond Cart. Alright, and now we have an 18 minute drive to our next drop off. They had a bunch of solar panel salesmen out there that are having a little too much fun because one of them jokingly told me to set the items in their truck because they're parked right outside the house I was delivering to. I was like, I don't think so, man. I don't think these are your groceries. But they had this like alarm going off every time I stepped in front of their door. It was super loud, but I'm gonna set this down and take a look at my phone at the stop sign so I can make sure to thank my customers. But first, let's go ahead and take the scam likely phone call. Hopefully it's not Instacart calling me to tell me I'm deactivated for some reason, again. All right guys, so we just got a 40 double store order. Someone else took it and they passed up on it. I guess they canceled it. It's a uh, 20 miles, two stores, but it's 40 bucks. And it's only, I think like 12 items, so I'll take it. It's not that bad. It's still a dollar per mile, even round trip, which is all I ask for. Would you take an order like this? Pretty sure I know the answer, probably no, but let me know in the comment section down below. All right guys, so order is done. All in that box, we got an 11 minute drive to Sam's. Pretty small order there too. I'll see you guys there. And we are at Sam's. All right, so oddly enough, we're delivering to customer B first because it's a double store order and they ordered more stuff, I guess. I'm not too sure. I think it's just a slap in the face to customer A here because they're getting shopped first and delivered to last. It's just absurd. All right, and our next prime drink. We got a, a hydration beverage now. All right, that was a kind of weird drop off. I uh, was in the middle of dropping it off and one of these ladies came out. She offered to help and then this other lady came out and she's like, no, he doesn't need help. I was gonna deny the help anyways because they were older and looked kind of fragile, but I just thought that was kind of funny. I'm trying my hardest with this cheese from Costco. I have it in a bag with some ice packs, but I can't zip it down. But I think it's better than nothing. This road vibrates. All right guys, I have no idea where I'm even at at this point. We're way out here. $40 is $40. So just in case you're curious about the tip breakdown, it's right there. Sam's order tipped me 15 bucks, and then that tiny little Costco order tipped me $10 for a total of $25 in tips, which means Instacart actually paid us $15, which doesn't sound like a lot, but for them, that's a lot. So we have a 20 minute drive back to Costco. So we're gonna be at around $70 by just like 1 p.m., three hours of work. It's not too bad, Could probably do that in my local town, but I'm having more fun doing it this way. Reminds me of last year, back when we only did Costco, basically. We're definitely riding some miles off today, though. Let me tell you that. You could just barely see the skyline of uh, San Antonio down there. It's honestly kind of depressing compared to Austin. I am tempted to try out a Costco in Austin, but the problem is I'm not diamond cart and uh, I'm not gonna have any repeat customers out there, but maybe someday in the future, we'll give it a try, do a Instacart in a different city. All right guys, we've been sitting for probably 30, 40 minutes. We just got a $25, 12 mile order, low items. It's not the best and it's going the opposite way from my home, but we're gonna take it. Then we're gonna get back to Costco and go for one more order, hopefully going back towards my house. So I'll see you guys with the cart full stuff. All right, so we have a 20 minute drive to the first drop off. They're pretty close to each other, but the traffic is starting to pick up, which is making this less desirable now that I look at it. Yeah, the traffic got really bad. So we're gonna be delivering to an apartment complex as well. And I have no gate code. Oh well, we'll get it done.
Alright guys, so we are downtown downtown and our next drop off looks miserable and there's nowhere to park so we're gonna cross our fingers I don't get a ticket. Also they left me zero instructions besides telling me to pick out good produce. That was what they put in their delivery instructions. Grab fresh produce. Not actual delivery instructions but just uh yeah some for themselves. So this will be entertaining we'll see what happens here. I might not be able to record too much just because I'm gonna be stressed out. But I get to take all of that in. We're gonna do it in one trip though because we gotta all right, just saw someone accidentally blow through a red light, so that was scary. But uh, I see the building I'm about to deliver to. It's a high rise. This is going to be fun, guys. I mean, it is cool and it's an experience, but it's also like nerve wracking because I don't want to get a ticket. And I know those places are very hard to park at. Get a glimpse of the building way up there. Time to do this. Well, apparently I overthought that one way too much because I got to the door and the guy's like, we'll deliver it. And um, apparently they're that bougie where they have the, the valet or whatever take it up for them. So I just gave them the, the room number and a name and they're dropping it off for me. So I guess I, I could have just pulled in right up there, but overcomplicated things like usual. All right, so look at this. This is the, the tip breakdown. We got $13 for the first order, which was a college student. And we have this very successful person living in a condo in downtown. They tipped me $2. I stressed out way too much for that for a $2 tip, bro. All right, time to go back to Costco. We are far from home, guys. 47 minutes away from home. I don't live next to Costco, guys. It's a journey. And then when they send you even farther away, it just sucks. Well, better get on the road. All right, so while I was in there shopping for myself and my dog, I ended up getting another $25 single customer order. No add-on, but I already shopped it and he loaded up. All right, guys, so I just finished that delivery. We we're at 122. They're really nice, but uh, I just couldn't record because they're out there. We're about at 122 and six hours. Unfortunately, there's a ton of traffic, so in order for me to get home, it's going to take at least an hour, which sucks. So we are stuck in some pretty bad traffic right now, but the good news is I just got a $36 order going by my house. So it is like a 30-mile a order, but these are all miles that I have to drive to get back to my house anyways because the Costco is so far away. So we're gonna go do this order. Looks like 12 items and 14 units. So can't be that bad. One of them's really small, so I should still be able to fit it in the back seat there. I'll make sure to keep it all separate from my stuff. And then the trunk's completely empty right now. So I'll probably use those boxes back there for this order. All right, so here's the order. First drop off is 20 minutes away. It's not too bad. My car is really struggling to start right now, which is concerning. So I just won't turn it off until I'm at my house. I think I need to run some like sea foam through here or something. Maybe one of you guys are great with cars, but uh, I definitely hear the starter going. It just uh, sounds like it's struggling. So maybe bad fuel injectors, maybe. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the drop off. All right guys, so we're back in the office. It is a day later, but we made $158 in eight hours, which breaks down to about $19 per hour, even with gas. 
So in regards of mileage, Solo said we drove about 181 miles for work today, which is insane. I drove way too much. And I did double check this with my car. My car said we are at 177, and that's just because we started my car's trip counter a little late. But that does go to show just how accurate Solo is. Also, if it doesn't automatically select if it's for work or personal, you can swipe one way or the other, and it'll classify it in the right category. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry it was really long. And of course, check the pinned comment down below so you guys could sign up with Solo and make that 10 bucks. And anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video.